Everyone, welcome to the show. So Florida has become a safe space, basically, for white, angry snowflakes. Yeah, that's what it is. And the local chapter of the NAACP voted unanimously to issue a nationwide travel advisory against moving to or visiting the state of Florida. Now, for my international audience, the NAACP is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. So the Florida board has now passed this along to the national NAACP for consideration. Then they will make the final decision as to whether or not to issue this travel advisory. This decision, you guys are probably not you know, strangers to this, but it comes after months and months of Florida lawmakers and Governor Ron DeSantis implementing rules, implementing laws that undermine civil rights and equality. This is why I call Florida the hate state. DeSantis and other Florida Republicans have made it clear, not just with their words, but through actions, through the laws, they want to erase slavery. They want to erase any details about systemic racism from libraries, from school curriculum. They want to keep kids from learning about the Holocaust even. They don't want them to understand, accept, and love others for who they are. They just don't. They simply want to dumb down the people in their state and to keep their straight white population in a little bubble so they can continue to feed them this myth that they are the real victims in this country. And saying or teaching anything other than that is quote unquote woke. <laughs> even though most of them can't even define woke, as we recently saw with a giant fail of anti-woke author Bethany Mandel. If you guys haven't seen that viral clip, you're missing out. <laughs> anyway, Meatball Ron called this a stunt. When he was asked about this travel advisory, he called it a stunt, which proves, you know, irony and hypocrisy. They're just now the way of life for Republicans. They don't see what they do as a stunt, but everybody else is pulling stunts. You know, they're now, it's kind of like, remember how all produce used to be organic, right? But before there were pesticides, herbicides, GMOs, all that crap, before those were created, that was just normal. We didn't have to label things. We didn't have to say this is organic. This is conventionally grown. This is, you know, GMO. No, that's what we have to do now. We don't even need to label Republican politicians as hypocrites or their statements as ironic anymore. They just are. <laughs> they just are. We only need to really point out the rare dissenting, logical, honest party members, the very, very few that are left. Anyway, Maybe when uh, Ron DeSatan's state starts to feel the financial pressure, they'll realize that their quote unquote anti woke agenda is like ridiculous. And it's just, it's a way of them framing it, you know, being, oh, I'm anti woke. So you're saying you're a dick. That's what you're saying, because that's all it means when people say you need to be more woke. Just don't be a dick to other people. <laughs> just consider other people's feelings. Is that too much to ask? You know, so really what they're saying when someone says, oh, I'm anti-woke or I hate wokeness. What I hear someone saying is I'm just the 2023 version of a 1950s bigot. That's what I hear. And don't get me wrong. There's problems with wokeness, with people using it for nefarious means. Um, and to cover up other things that they don't want to admit or they don't want to do and policies they don't want to pass. So I get it. There's problems with it. But yeah, like I said, Florida is now the safe space for the bigots. They get to, to run and hide all the little snowflakes over there. Funny that they're not melting from the sun. Anyway, guys, if I hear any more, I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.